Hello everyone and welcome back to The Final Whistle. Today we have a special video for you. It is, since the transfer window is coming up, keep, sell or loan out Manchester United edition. Mm. I'll be reading through a list of Manchester United players and we will take it in turns to decide whether we will keep, buy or sell the players. And some of them... What did I say? Keep, buy or sell? Keep, keep loan yeah, out or sell. or sell the players. And some of them we'll discuss as well. But before we get into it, be sure to give the video a like and get involved in the video. Comment along as we go along and share the video too. Quick but, question, bro. Yes. Is there a limit on how many players you can sell? Nah. Okay, cool. It's a big clear out. Crazy. Oh, no. <laughs> wait, wait. You ready? This guy's already <laughs> setting up to sell the whole squad. Open heart <laughs> surgery. Open heart like, hey, bro, surgery. Open heart. Like, said it himself, bro. All right, let's get started. Cool. Andre Onana. Start from match goal down. Keep. 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 I think mm. that's pretty simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alte Bander. So second choice goalkeeper. Keep. 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 Um, Tom Heaton. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you say? Tom Heaton. Tom Heaton. Keep. Like, it doesn't really matter. Sell retirement home. Sell all the time. <laughs> sell, yeah. yeah, so I think I think with our goalkeepers, having Andre and Bayern there for now is okay. Mm, yeah. And then if we can yeah, have a younger okay, goalkeeper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're my boys. <laughs> yeah, Andre. <laughs> 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 yeah, Andre, that's my boy, innit? That's my boy, Andre. Andre, oh, yeah, you know about Andre and that, that is joke. But yeah, if we can keep um, Uncle Andre <laughs> and um, Bayern there and we just have a younger goalkeeper coming through, okay. yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that's so. fine. But anyway, let's get on to the defenders now. Lissandro Martinez. 100% keep. 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 Yeah. Keep. Harry Maguire. Keep for me. Sell. Keep. Keep. Uh, uh, why are you nah. think why wait, why are you saying sell? To be fair, he's shown that he's Premier League quality, but at the same time, the scrutiny that he comes under at Manchester United, it's sometimes it's too much, man. And it's been up and down, ebbs and flows, you know, like the ownership will probably want a younger defender to play alongside Martinez mm. and the other people there. Mm. So he can go and be a number one at another club. But don't you think that this season especially, he's shown that he has the character and, you know, even the ability yeah. to stay at United, even if it's just as a squad player. You yeah. saw both our main centre-backs getting injured and he came in at a pivotal moment in the season. Yeah, definitely. And he helped us out a lot. Definitely. I'd say I'm one of those people who's actually, their opinion is quite changed on Maguire. Mm. And I'm showing him a little bit more respect now because... I did chime into, you know, the Maguire hate online and yeah, why is he getting yeah, Prince yeah. of England and all that type Maguire of stuff. Hate? But hate or criticism? Are you hating him? But I don't hate him, but, really? they, were hate, <laughs> but they were hating him yeah, online. Yeah. I'll be fair there. But now he has shown his ability, but at the same time, he can probably be, if he goes to, I don't know, a Leicester who are back up if mm. he goes back to that club or even West Ham waiting for him. If he goes there... Nah, Maguire think... can't drop down from Man United to Leicester. He just came back from... I think but Leicester should have never gone, but that's a whole different with, discussion. With, with Maguire, itself. he's 100%. I think there's an argument he's our best centre-back this season. 100%. Like, M Martinez ain't, ain't been, um, ain't been fit. fit. Yeah. Varane yeah. ain't been fit. Johnny Evans, like, he's actually... Want, when yeah, he's so playing, he's he, been our best... Um, best it's, I guess availability is the best ability, but at the same time, you know, you don't want it to have he's a, to He's a great backup, but yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. the only reason I'd sell. I hear that. Let's move on to another centre-back. Um, Victor Lindelof. I think it's time for sell. Okay. Yeah, agreed. So I think you should keep him. Yeah. I think keep him. For now. Yeah. I think, especially when what we said at the start of the video, where it's open-heart surgery and it's a complete rebuild and whatever... I don't think, especially in the first summer window, you can afford to just offload so many people. I understand. And I feel that. like that's what, in my opinion, was Ten Hag's uh, one of one of the thing, one of the bad things I didn't like about Ten Hag. Yeah. When he got rid of someone like Fred, for example. I feel like Fred oh could have stayed for this don't season. Get me started, man. And then probably got and sold. And I feel like you just need to be smart in terms of who you sell this summer. Mm, and then you know you probably demote them to like a squad player. Yeah. A couple but you of games keep both, so you keep both those centre backs, Maguire and Lindelof. Yeah, because we already know Rafael Varane is going out. We yeah. have to be realistic mm. about how many centre backs we can buy. Maybe that's something we can discuss in another video. But. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's only so many centre backs you can get. We already have a lot of injury prone centre backs. Cambrala, who we're going to go on to next. Mm. You know, is he really the level that Man United need for a centre mm. back? But anyway, let's go on to him now. Um, Cambrala. To be fair, I want to go, but I, I, I actually keep, I would keep Lindelof, but then I'm loaning Cambrala straight. Yeah. Yeah. I would keep him. Like, well, from what I've seen of him, he's decent. Yeah, I'd keep him as well. Um, yeah. It's important to have that. Like, a, um, someone who's up and coming and potentially can be, I don't want to say like the manager's pet. But someone who can he can sort of mould himself. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I mean I would loan him I'll loan him out for now. He's only I think nineteen or twenty years mm. old. 
And yeah, I think for now, loan him out, see how it goes. Uh, Johnny Evans. Mm. Yeah, let him go. Yeah. Bye bye. So. Yeah, so yeah. pretty straightforward. It, it, even just release because he's yeah. The contracts yeah. were only it was a year. year, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think with the option for an, an extra one or something. Don't, like that. Don't, yeah, don't, don't activate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Luke Shaw, keep, keep. Come on, man. I'd say keep. I only hesitated because Sal would probably be a bit harsh, but you need another left back. I would say keep. Mm. I would say keep. Taro Malasio. Malasio, is he? Oh, shit, I thought he was dead. Taro, Taro Malasio. Who the hell is that keep. guy? <laughs> <laughs> now nah, he was there in the final. Keep him, keep him, keep, keep him. Keep. Mm. Loan, actually. I might loan him. Okay, I would say we keep him for now. Okay. I like him. Uh, Brandon Williams. I think it's time to sell. Sell. I didn't know you were still at the club. Sell him. Sell. <laughs> sell. Uh, Diogo Dalot. Keep, 100%. Keep. Man. Keep, yeah. Keep. Aaron Wambasako. <sighs> I think it's time to sell. Keep. He looked great, but I'm selling him, yeah. Keep. Just keep. Keep. Why are you saying we should I'm sell him? I'm saying so, like, although I remember Saka, in certain games, he's, like, undeniably one of the best fullbacks in the world in terms of defensively. But for the <coughs> rebuild that we're trying to do and the, the style of play Ten Hag, if he stays, what he's trying to implement, it doesn't suit wan Saka. So if we're really trying to go all guns blazing with Ten Hag in charge, we've got to get him the play suited and... Aaron Bissaka doesn't fit the mold, so just cash in now. Maybe you can go back to Crystal Palace, get a few um, couple yeah. million for him. He's it's not... true. The style of play is so true. Wan Bissaka loses the ball a lot higher. What, this ball. season as well. This he did not do it like in the, in. Oh, it was one of the, the games. Was was it FA Cup? Like he your heart, where Ten Hag wants to play on that halfway line. Yeah, misplaced pass can really oh. catch a team out. But I would still keep him because. He can do it at left back. He can do it at right back. He's locked up some of the best wingers that we've seen in 100%. the Premier League. Mm. And you're talking about you don't want to shift everyone. And, you know, availability is one of the best abilities. Mm. For that reason, I think he stays. Okay. Right. Yes, same to be fair. And I think, especially the way Ten Hag plays with, like, it obviously starting as a back four and then throughout the game, going into a back three. Usually your holding player, jumping mm. in between the two, splitting like that. I'm thinking you could do the same thing with Wamba Saka. Not necessarily letting him sit in the middle and split in the two. He becomes one of the three and a half that's yeah. mm. to and then have someone in front of him. But Okay. Uh, Scott McTominay. Get rid. Keep. Sell. Sell. Why are you going to keep sell. him? He's red. <laughs> <laughs> fair, 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 fair. Uh, Sophia and Amrabat. Oh, get rid. Don't just go. Just go. I hate... Let me oh. not say hate, man, but I despise that player, man. Let him go. Yeah, sell. Good job, not Prem quality though. Mate, just don't even talk to him again. <laughs> Loan's done. Loan's done. Be like, thanks, but... You know what? In the last couple of games oh, against God. Arsenal and then against uh, the game, the final as well, against and Arsenal. the game... Against Arsenal, I thought Amrabat was all right. When Odegaard Rashford and sent him back to Marrakesh. That's one <laughs> moment. That's one That's one moment in the whole game. That's one moment in the uh, whole game. I, Don't come from my way, Amrabat. <laughs> <laughs> that's one moment in the whole game. I feel like that was actually one of his best games this season. I think a lot of the season he's had to play in the position in which doesn't suit him. And he's been injured. So he was playing left back for a bit. He was injured. But I think towards the end of the season, back in full fitness, I thought he played very well, especially in the final. I thought he was But would you sign him or keep him alone? Um, I would sign him. Oh no, I you would have to sign, him. sign him. Or send Do you know him back, I can't right? like, yeah. I, I low key hear it, but only on loan. I would hear him, I'd hear taking him back on loan just so that you have a bit more numbers in midfield. Mm. Mm. But even at that, it's like if the mm. price that we're looking at really is like 15 mil, is that yeah, it's not, it's, it'll be around that because I think Why? it was about 20 last Why year. Why waste some of our like budget that? on someone like that? But if it's 15 mil, that's a good squad player to no, have. I'd, I'd yeah, it would go. There's other players you can sell Especially, and get money by buying more better players. Well, one player that we're going to go on to, who could determine Amrabat is Casemiro as well. Yeah. What would you say for that man? Sell. Cash in. <sighs> Keep. What did Jamie Carragher say? He needs to let... Football. He cares about Jamie Carragher. <laughs> no, listen, listen. He needs to let go of football before, before football lets go to him. Oh my God. Ah, that's what we should do. No, I, I, think, I think we should sell him. I do agree. But then that's why I'll say we keep Amrabat. But anyway, um, Kobe Main. Oh, keep. Yeah, no, we're in a keep. I think you might have to loan him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep him, obviously, yeah. Keep. Um, Christian Eriksen? I would keep him. Okay. Sell. I would also keep him. Yeah. I would sell. I think he's getting a bit old and a bit leggy. But you know, I feel like 
no, because no, it's not about Arsenal, it's about United. Go on. But sometimes okay. you do need veterans, not, you know what I mean? Players I mean, that can come what, on a, and do the, do the job. Mm. Because like for us, when we did our clear out, I think David Luiz is one of the last players to go. And granted, in that last season, he didn't play a lot of games. It's more so about, you know, the young players that you're going to bring in. Of having a player that is experienced with, you know, oh, I was going to say winning trophies. Well, yeah, winning trophies at United. Um, but it's like international player. He's been there in the Champions League. He's you got been... Bruno? Yeah, I know. But I'm saying you can't just on one player. Just just a professional, a professional mm. baller around, yeah. around the squad. You do need that. Uh, Bruno Fernandes? Keep. Keep. If the right offer comes in, sell. I say keep. I think a lot of people are if hearing that. that thing, million but I'm not hearing Saudi it, man. thing comes in. Yeah, the reason the reason why I say it is because it's like it's the again. I can only relate back to Arsenal in terms mm. of the rebuild and how I felt when it was like we were going through the same process mm. when we had all these players and whatnot. It's like the same thing with Aubameyang. Yes, I get he's your key player and whatnot, but you know it does come a time where it's like even United fans, you guys you yourselves would say it that you know he loses the ball or you know when he when things aren't going right, he's the first one to sort of lose his head. And then he gets a yellow card, or yeah. He gets a bit but he is their captain and best player, though. Hundred percent. Bamiang was our captain and our best player. That's as well. true. Granted, but I feel like you Arsenal could play without him. We yeah, it is. Genuinely yeah, can't it is. Play it is diff- different circumstances. Obviously, you guys gave him a new contract and etc. But like you said, if if that hundred and twenty eight million from Saudi Arabia comes in, it's a very difficult if offer it, to, bro, to say no to. It's it's the easiest offer to say yes to. I can't lie, I man. Can. Bruno's Get, priceless, listen, man. Mount, yeah, I'm saying if you, uh, I know, I've 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 slated Mount. Mm. On other on other platforms, but if you give Mount the keys alongside a new signing, Gibbs mm. what? Ex- oh, yo, Gibbs oh, what could man. do bits? Yeah. Who knows? But that's come a whole on. different video. Exactly. Yes, come, on. Oh, come on, Mason Mount, keep, 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 keep. keep. Give him the keys, man. man. Marcus Rashford, keep, keep, keep. Yeah, I would say keep. I think that's a no-brainer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Garnacho, keep, 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 keep. Anthony, <laughs> if I could sell him, I'd sell him today, man. Oh, so, man. so, I think loan out. I think we loan out for a you few know, reasons. You can't loan him. I am player. You can, but you can though. I hear it. But you can. But wait, why loan him and not sell him? The reason why you loan him out is because number one, you can se- take him to another club where he can raise the value. Mm. At the moment, who's going to pay? It's not going to happen. It's just going to be like Martial when he went to Sevilla. The, the price is just going to keep falling. It depends. It, mm. could, it could. But either way, we're not going to get much money from him this season. It, if we even get any offers mm. from him this season. So to loan him out, you're at least giving yourself the chance yeah. that you could get offers yeah. and get off- an offer worth accepting. You can't loan him to a Prem club. So put- send him back to mm. Eric Dvizay so he can cook there, man. <laughs> you never know, though. Like, at a club, I don't know, maybe like an Everton or... You- bro, there are some clubs. couldn't even do it against Baba Rahman, bro. <laughs> bro, the-, <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, I- I- I'm not a big Anthony fan myself. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big Anthony fan. Otherwise, I'll say <clears throat> we keep him. However, there is something in him. 100%. There is something in him and if he can just showcase that to the world one more time, yeah. then that's fine. And so then we so can you're, sell him. you're loaning with a look to sell. Loaning him out with a look to I sell. Hear, that's something in them. Some, sometimes, yeah, that there's, there's an old adage they always say. They say, I have talent, but where this talent is leading me? <laughs> Anthony, he has talent, but where it's leading him, I have no idea, bro. Mm. Yeah, but we're not going to get any offers for him. <laughs> Uh, that's not if we I, sell him now, we're not selling him for more than 25, If, he, 30 if you million. sell him, the only place he's going is either Gremio or Trabzonspor. He's not going to be fucking dead. He's going. This is why I say loan it. Actually, loan him actually makes sense. It actually makes sense. I think loan him out. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Diallo. Oh, keep. 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 And last player, Rasmus Hoyland. Keep. 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 Yeah. Keep. And... Apart from the players, mm. one more very important man. He's been in the media a lot. The manager himself, Eric Ten Hag. Would you keep him or would you get rid of him? Mike's answer here is very important, by the way. Season's I'm, over. I'm very, very... I mean, I've told you <clears throat> countless times I'm very indifferent and I leave it up to Ineos. But if it's me, I'm keeping him one more season and seeing what he does. This is a change, though. It is, it is. You Ten Hag out. So I you're was. in now. I'm indifferent. <laughs> you, okay. you know I'm saying hog in for uh, until at least January. Yeah, until January. I say we keep him. I say we keep him. Wow, wait, he's it, changed the mold. Wait, you're you're both ten hog in now. I, I, you know he's what it is. The mold. It's, it's, it's a few facts. You started the whole train, yeah. Paul. Yeah. You know what it is. Is what it is. Is one thing is I've always said through the whole season mm. that I want him out. However, I wouldn't get rid of him right now because 
there isn't a clear option that I would want. I don't want Southgate. I don't want the Zerbi. There's, you know, the managers that were linked <clears> to you, I really do not want them. Poch? I don't want Poch you, my friend, two dirham. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Keep him out of my club. <laughs> I don't want him. I, I hear people saying that, like, oh, there's not a lot of ma- managers on the market. I think there actually are a lot of managers on the market. Better like, than Ten Hag? Yeah, I think so. I think, like, there's at least three managers that I can say, if you bring him into Man United, I can see them Go having on. a style of play and actually going somewhere. Who? Go on. Okay, so you have Michel at Girona, who had a, one of the best ever seasons. At what club? Girona. Girona, okay. They finished third. No, no, no. They, they finished third this year. Right. And if you actually <laughs> watch still Girona, a bit early for a United job, though. No, I, on, I, I hear on, it, but on. it's a thing where he's, he's come in and this is a team two years ago just entered La Liga. So yeah. you're telling me they came up, had a, I think like, I can't remember where they finished last season. Um, and then this season, for September to uh, December, they were first place. And mm. they were actually playing very good football. Yeah. Cool. If okay. you don't want him, the next one I'd say is probably Ruben Amarim from Sporting. Mm. We've seen what he's been able to do. Even last year, um, knocked Arsenal out of the Europa League. This year, mm. won the uh, Portuguese League. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's a good manager. He's been there for a couple of years as well. And the last one I'd say, well, to be fair, I think he's going to go, um, I think he's going to Juventus. But I would oh, have said, Mota. Thi- yeah, I would have said Thiago Motta. Mm, yeah. Those three managers, okay, maybe two now, because Thiago Motta is most likely going to go Juventus. Those two managers are, are managers that have been able to establish some sort of style of play, mm. get players working to a system cohesively and actually achieve something. If you don't want him, yeah. there's, there's Hunas that's still That's got. true. There's a lot of managers why, out why, there. Why don't you want Deserbi? Well, the reason why, Deserbi and all of the managers you've mentioned as well, what you just said those managers did, Ten Hag did exactly yeah, the same yeah, thing as the clubs. Say, yeah. And if Ten Hag was on the market now, Ten Hag would be the clear choice that we go for, which is an mm-hmm. argument I've seen on Twitter quite a lot. That's true. The yeah. reason why I wouldn't get rid of Ten Hag for these managers, who are good managers, including the Zerbi as well, is because if we're going to change manager, we need an experienced manager. We need a manager that can... It's not about being able to establish a style of play. It's about being able to coach at a club like Manchester United okay. where you've got so many issues to deal with on and off the pitch and the media scrutiny is completely different. Okay, to and then the, there's one there's one guy who can do that and there's one guy who saw Chelsea through a sanction and should have never really been sacked and prior to that sanction, Jesus. he won the Champions League and he man. finished third oh, and Lukaku, to be honest, ruined his managerial career and that is Thomas Tuchel. He's no, the only no. manager I would consider. I would consider him. Zidane wouldn't want to come He's to us. He's a top manager. Other than Tuchel's Zidane, a top manager. I would consider Tuchel. Tuchel's Tuchel, 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 Tuchel a very good manager. Top manager. Like but should it's have just... won, should have, basically should have, because uh, when you go to PSG, you have to win the league. Yeah. Mm. And you've seen guys that poch go there and not do it. When Tucho was there, he won the league every, most the of the champs times. Final. He got them to the champs final, came to Chelsea the next year, won the champs. Then with Bayern, some could say they got cheated out of not getting through to that final. Yeah. You know? So yeah. the Actually, only issue I'd have with Tuchel coming into the club is that I don't feel as though the players we have suit the way he would want to play. Mm-hmm. With the direction we're going, with the players that Ten Hag has signed and the style of play we've been playing over the last two years, yeah. Yeah. switching to someone like Tuchel is a completely different system, a completely different style. It but is. The is That's I feel true. like, okay, if you want uh, an experienced manager, obviously one has, that has already been in the Premier twice has now just gone off the market in Antonio Conte. But then you've got other managers that, so would you want someone like Spalletti who won the Scudetto with Napoli? No. You wouldn't want him. No. But, and again, it's a thing where it's like, if you're a track record, <laughs> You tried that after Sir Alex Ferguson. You got David Moyes, you got Lee Van Hal, and you got Jose Mourinho. That clearly did not Oli. work. Jose Mourinho, Jose Mourinho did work because he won us the Europa League. Okay, but where? No, but I'm saying it's he still got sacked at the end of the day. Yeah, it didn't work. Is what yeah, I'm but whether he got sacked or whether he got sacked Rightly fairly or, or not is another conversation. Yeah. Okay, okay, so okay, fair and enough. that was also that was then with the players he had then. Mm-hmm. Now we have a new ownership. Okay, yeah, or at least a new part ownership. And I feel as though the squad we have now is much better than the squad that Mourinho had then as well. Mm. Mm. But that's debatable. It's, but, it's debatable. Okay. But anyway, to, to conclude, I, I genuinely think... Wait, you forgot a player? Who? Sancho. Oh, oh my gosh. Now, that's an agenda. Sancho, that's, we need to forget him. It's not an agenda. It's it not, is, not, it, it is, it is. It's to me, that's a... That's a straight up. Quickly, that's quickly, quickly go on. Go on, you, you Scott. <laughs> Keep him. Sell. Sell. So no man no no it's time at United's you know, done no, no it's yeah. been, see and you're telling no. me it's an agenda we're the same thing at least discussing yeah. <laughs> yeah. you can't just forget him bro yeah, like the Sancho, middle man. child hey, you know, <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying bro Sancho he's gone too far to come back look I wish him all the best for his career it's not mm. a personal hate thing I'm not racist or anything like that <laughs> but it's just him and Manchester United 
Don't go all no, together. Man. It can, it can him and Man United out. don't go all together. I've seen players turn it around, man. You can who, turn it around. who can well, turn it around United after doing something like that? Something like that. No, but he can turn it around, bro. No. Like all that. it takes is a sit down with Ten Hag this summer and it can no, just be... No, it's gone too far. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's great, man. Unless Ten Hag leaves and the manager that comes in Wants Sancho, and that's and not even a good look for the club in general. It's yeah, it's really far. not. It's, it's like really Lukaku. It's like Lukaku and Chelsea. It's gone way too far, man. Right. Yeah, Jez, I, I think ten. I think Sancho is going to join the long list of players that have left United and gone successful in terms of Depay, Di Maria, etc., etc. What about Depay? the long list of people right. that have lost less right. Arsenal and become successful? Right. I don't really class Depay as successful. successful. Where at he, Barca? Depay is a little bit of a slag, <laughs> man. First of all, first of all, first of all, <laughs> and you Depay, know it. Depay you know actually it. saved Barca when they were going on a bit of a slag. Oh, stop it! And then stop it! Oh, stop it, mate! <laughs> stop it, will you? You pulling my leg on, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me on. Uh, okay, I, I, I feel like he's done all right, though. He's done all right. Yeah, all right. yeah. I'm, I'm saying left United and in a place where it seems as if career is going to go. Mm. Di Maria, like Di Maria is a good example list. because yeah. Di Maria is someone where it should have worked and shockingly it didn't. Yeah, apart and, from Di Maria, Sancho, Sanchez, Alexis Sanchez went to Inter, won the Scudetto, went to Marseille, bagged, went back to Inter. Yo, I, 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 don't, I don't know if I can't say Cham- Champions League final. Sanchez and Di Maria, both of them shouldn't have been signed at me. Oh, well, especially Sanchez shouldn't have been signed at Man United. Apart from those two players, the rest of the players, see how they. Play. You guys weren't saying that when you were playing the piano. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And the guy's going, ding, 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 ding. It was nice. <laughs> anyway, that has been another video from TFW. We hope you liked it. Give the video a like. Comment. Let us know what you agree or disagree with. Share the video as always. And follow us on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. And as we always say, tell a friend to tell a friend. Peace.